from the sixth generation ranch family in um, Northern California. This is Table Rock Ranch and Table Rock Ranch was established in 1852 by General R.M. Martin and the first two generations were not uh, lost because of a lot of perseverance. I think in a time in history when women weren't so much running ranches and things like that. We raise and run our cattle in the mountains in the spring and summer, summer and fall, I should say. And they graze on grass that's completely a non-utilizable uh, form of food. And they turn that grass into a high quality protein that can be enjoyed and consumed. I feel like I am living the American dream. I think that land ownership is part of the American dream and I'm thankful that I can be a part of that and hopefully people can be able to buy their own houses and live the American dream by land ownership. I think that that's something that's different than a lot of countries. I think it's noteworthy to consider that living the American dream is not an entitlement. It's not that you just wake up and you're living the dream. It's definitely something that requires sacrifice. And I think sacrifice from previous generations, sacrifice from our forefathers that gave us the opportunities that we have now. And it's just how we use the opportunities that we have. The reasons don't go asking Jesus why we're not meant to know the answers they belong to the by and by. afraid and I said what good does it do to be afraid you know that doesn't accomplish anything to the contrary that's negative you know because you're you can say you're fighting for your life and you can't afford to waste the effort I looked up at about a 30 degree angle and I saw this wave breaking over the bow and as I watched 192 feet of ship disappeared underwater uh, and, and, and then the ship just shook and shuddered as it was trying to regain its buoyancy uh, and needless to say we made it you know but uh, there were some old salt warrant officers aboard the ship that admitted afterwards that they didn't think we were going to survive uh, from their experience. And they didn't tell us because they didn't want us to get all worried. Your American dream uh, evolves over the years. You know, as I said, when I was a young teenager, I was naive, and uh, the only thing I knew was that you know my American dream was to go to college and graduate. Uh, and uh, now. Uh, Next Saturday, I'm going to turn 80. Uh, and looking back, 
you know, uh, my American dream now involves having two beautiful kids, uh, Ryan and Ann, and three beautiful grandkids. Uh, you know, I don't want much, I don't need much, you know, I just, I, I basically, I, well, without complaint, I guess I have, I have more than most people have, I think. Uh, and I feel, I feel blessed. Uh, I've used the land to pursue my American dream. My American dream has always been to work outside in the outdoors. Uh, and so guiding and taking other people uh, into these incredible spaces and places uh, that is the great outdoors and so taking people down the rivers, taking people out backpacking, rock climbing, rappelling, uh, mountain biking. A big part of it recently has been building mountain bike trails uh, and that's been really fun uh, to get a group of volunteers to come in and kind of artistically think about how the trail is going to move and flow uh, and then putting in the features, using the dirt again to literally um, build jumps or to build berms uh, which just provide incredible fun opportunities. This land is your land, this land is mine.